now let's talk about the other part of the um, the opposite of constipation, uh, diarrhea. Uh, something you don't want in your patient, want you don't, because you don't want them to lose energy, uh, right? So, so when chemo causes diarrhea, we have uh, a few formulas to, uh, to treat with. We have two formulas that are that are very similar, but they're, they're, they look alike, but there's something that's a little bit different. And that's, we have the Sunli treatment of Dr. Wang Juyi, which is Su Sunli, Sho Sunli, and Jen Li. So stomach 36, large intestine 10, and uh, CV 11. And very often I use this combination with a moxa pole on the center. So I moxa the entire uh, stomach, stomach area. Uh, and this one, it's really about young Ming yang deficiency, right? So it's, uh, we want to tonify the young of the spleen and the stomach so that, uh, that they will, um, that they will keep in the young because with this kind of person, they are, they have this diarrhea, this, the, the young Ming is moving too fast. So it's coming in and there's just no way that they keep it in. They keep it in. So you see malabsorption, uh, you see qi deficiency, you see this, this diarrhea. And so this kind of patient also doesn't feel like eating because the stomach, it just simply lacks vigor and vitality to do something with the food. So um, this is a very, very beautiful combination if you see this, uh, this deficiency kind of diarrhea. And then um, the, the, the combination that looks quite the same, but is a little bit different, is stomach 36, large intestine 10, and CV12, which is more of a qi regulating combination because CV12 is a bit more dynamic than Gen Li, CV11. Uh, so CV12 is a little bit more moving. So it moves around the food stagnation or the damp or the phlegm. And by um, uh, by by strengthening the stomach and the spleen, it 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 really regulates this uh, damp and phlegm uh, formation. So um, CV12. Um, um, all right, I shouldn't remember, shouldn't forget to say this, but CV12 is also uh, a point that you shouldn't forget if uh, your patient is anemic. Uh, because it's a marvelous blood tonic. It, it, it increases the uptake of vitamin 12, uh, vitamin B12, I said, I said it's wrong. So, uh, for example, your patients who, are, um, who can't concentrate anymore or if, they have, um, or if they can't sleep anymore because there's this blood deficiency, of course, then you would substitute CV11 with CV12 because of this blood tonifying action. But anyway, if it's about regulating the earth, then CV12 is anyway more strong than CV11. Um, right, and then if there's more heat, uh, of course, you can always substitute uh, large intestine 10. And then in that case, I would use large intestine 11, of course. Now, regarding uh, herbal formulas for treating diarrhea, um, it's, uh, you could go for Sunling Baju San, but then adding rhodoco because rhodoco is uh, is it's a warm herb and it it's uh, its tropism is towards the large intestine so it it warms the large intestine and it binds so uh, sunling baijusan in combination with rhodoco is very good for diarrhea due to tie-in spleen which is not performing its transformation function so, uh, so uh, qi and fluids are not doing what they should do. And then you add rhodoco to warm the, this the large intestine. Then, of course, if, there, if there's really definite, really, really cold in the center, then I would not go for Shunling Bai Jusan, but I would go for Li Jong one because you want to adopt the, uh, the Ganjang method of warming the earth. Um, and then quite the opposite is um, if, if, there, if there's heat diarrhea and uh, the formula then is Huang Qin Tang, which is um, uh, Huang Qin um, Bai Shao, the anti-cramping herb and uh, Gan Zhao and uh, Da Zhao. But because we're using it 
as for side effects of chemo, you can modify it by adding Xiangjiang and Banxia. So it becomes Huangqingjia Banxia Xiangjiang Tang. Um, so that's very good for retching in combination with, in combination with diarrhea.